What is going on? Welcome to Aged and Barreled. Today we're taking a look at a weird one. This is Howlerhead Monkey Spirit. This whiskey liqueur is a blend of Kentucky straight bourbon and natural banana flavor. It is 40% alcohol by volume or 80 proof. Uh, I admittedly overpaid for this. I think you can find this as low as around 17 bucks. Most of you may not even be aware this exists. For those who are aware, you probably seen this on either the UFC or popular YouTube channels, The Nelk Boys or Steve Will Do It. This is the official flavored whiskey of the UFC. And before I jump in with tasting notes, I do want to address the elephant in the room. Is this even technically whiskey? Before we answer this question, a quick rundown of what can legally be called whiskey in the United States. In order to be considered whiskey within the United States, it must abide by the following criteria. The definition is purposefully and frustratingly vague, but here are the main points. Produced from fermented grain mash, distilled at a maximum 190 proof, bottled at a minimum of 80 proof, stored for some time in oak containers, and possess the taste, aroma, and characteristics generally attributed to whiskey. With those rules in mind, often whiskey producers sidestep this issue altogether by staying below the 40% 80 proof threshold. Since whiskey by law must be bottled at at least 40%, similar products such as Fireball, the flavored Crown Royals, Screwball Peanut Butter, and just about all of the honey whiskeys fall below this 40% threshold. There are some obscure exceptions such as Bird Dog Peanut Butter. So, to answer the question of is this whiskey, the answer is no, and here's why. Where the rules regarding American whiskey are not vague is that additives must not significantly change the overall flavor of the whiskey. In the case of Howlerhead, the added banana flavoring completely dominates any bourbon characters. Alright, let's pop the cork off and give it a try. This has the weirdest nose. On the nose, tons of runts banana candy, overripe mashed banana, and there's a sour note in there as well. The alcohol is pretty low in this. Um, it is somehow even sweeter than it smells. I don't know how they managed to do that. Again, tons of this runts banana candy and a very intense sugar flavor. Okay, on to the scoring section. Starting off with flavor, there's tons of banana flavors, including candy banana, mashed banana, a sour note, and an overwhelming amount of sweetness. The strength is 40%, the bite is low, the complexity is low, and the price sits around $20. So, what's there to say about Howlerhead? To be fair, this was probably never meant to be poured into a Glencairn glass to begin with. Absurdly sweet, with banana flavors dialed up to 11, it makes flavored whiskey liqueurs like Fireball seem subtle. The MO, get it down quick and hope it doesn't come back up. I can see this being a regular staple for partying college students, but personally, it's not for me. There's something painful about taking a perfectly good Kentucky straight bourbon and pumping it full of banana sugary flavor. Business suggestion? Save some money. Drop the proof, find a cheaper spirit to blend, because this is not meant for whiskey drinkers. I'm giving Howlerhead a 2.4 out of 10. If you've had Howlerhead Monkey Spirit before, rate it in the comments below. Or if you're interested, pick up a bottle and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, enjoy.